Hey guys, I'm Pastor Derek. I want to teach you guys how to do this card trick we used for the now or later lesson, or now and later lesson. And you can use this for any type of lesson that has to do with uh, salvation. There's all kinds of different uh, ways you can, you can make this work. But all you need is a deck of cards. And to do it exactly the way that we did it, you need a full 52 set, or 52 deck of cards. Nah. 52 deck of cards, and you need one special card, and that is a blank card. Now, you can get these. Um, I get them on Amazon. I just buy a 52 deck of blank cards. Um, you don't even have to use a blank uh, card. You can use uh, a joker or a two, something that's not the same as the card that they chose. You can, you can do it that way. You can black out a card with marker. You can do it many different ways, but that I find this gives the perfect message for, for what you're trying to do. And so what you do to, to start the trick off is you have your blank card on the top of the deck. Okay. Now if you do that, you can, you can uh, shuffle without a problem as long as the top of the deck always stays the top of the deck so that that blank card is always on the top of the deck. I'm going to take a, take a few steps forward. So you can shuffle, and as you shuffle, you want to make sure this side, you don't want to do it that obvious, but do it like that, and then the top card is the blank card. So you can shuffle a whole bunch of times without that one getting messed up. Then you're going to have them select a card. You can do it, you can turn it like this and thumb through it so they pick through them. You can have them pick any card they like. It doesn't matter. Now, of course, what you don't want to do is go all the way to the end of this set and let it be seen that that's a blank card at the end. What what you do doing, if, if, they, if they haven't picked a card by the end, by the end down here, it kind of stops and go, hey, I need you to pick a card and start over and go like this. Now you can also, of course, do it the standard way and just have them pick a card from here. Now, I will warn you, most younger children, they will pick the top card. It almost always happens with a younger child. They will grab that top card. And so you want to be careful to not let them get that top card. And so you might want to pick an older child, or if you have to use younger kids, turn the deck over and so, so that they can pick any card they like. They'll probably be more willing to pick any card if you turn it over. So that's the first part. They actually get to pick any card in the deck. So let's just say they pick this card, okay? And that is the King of Clubs. All right. So let's say they pick the king of clubs. Now what you do is you have them, they show this card around so everybody sees it. And then when they bring it, they bring it up and then you say, let me see that. And it's okay for you to see the card. And most of the time people, when people are walking around, they're not very good at keeping you from seeing the card. You can make it kind of a, a fluid thing. And you're like, oh, I saw the card. Here, let me see that. And so you'll take the card and you'll go, okay, now everybody knows it's the king of clubs. Even I know it's the king of clubs. Now, as you're doing this motion, you're kind of getting everybody accustomed to you bringing the card and the deck of cards together. Okay, so this is how you do it in front of a. This is how I do it in front of a live audience. I I do a lot of motion like this. Okay, so, so as you're holding the card, you get it from me. You show me. They say everybody knows this is the king of clubs. Even I know it's the king of clubs. I'll tell you what. You know, you what you can do is you can say let's let's maybe start over or. You can say, oh, you know what, I want you to take this card and put it in your pocket. Now, I've already made the switch. Now, some of you may have seen it, some of you may not, because I might have had my hands below. I'm going to take a step back so you can see my whole body. And you can see I've got the blank card here. Okay, so as I'm talking, everybody knows, now pretend this is the other card, everybody knows that this is the king of clubs. So what I want you to do is take this card and see now the card is the king of clubs again. So what I'm doing is I'm bringing my hands like this. I come down, and as I come together, I push the top card off, which is the blank card. So I push it off, and I push these together. And as I come back up, now I'm holding the other card. So let me get, let me show that to you a little bit closer. All right. So let me get this this card in my hand. All right. So I'm I'm going up and down. So as I'm coming down, I'm pushing out the top card here and I push this in and then pull this out so it looks like it looks like this 
looks like this. And see, to you, especially with the camera, and I'm going below the camera, it just looks like the card changes into a different card. So, it's, it's a little bit of misdirection. So you come, you're coming down, and you say, put this in your pocket. Now you want to make sure, this is a very critical moment, you want to make sure that you're holding the back of the card to the audience and the person beside you. Because you do not want them to see that it is a blank card. So you kind of hold it like this. If their face, like I can't see the front of this card right now. So you want to make sure they're directly beside you so they can't see it. And then kind of hand it to them so it's almost already going in their pocket. You, you'll see if they got one of those jackets that slides in the side, that's perfect. Because you can just kind of hand it to them and say, here, I want you to slide this in your pocket. And they'll go ahead and they'll slide it into their pocket. And of course, that's the blank card. So the blank card is in their pocket. I'm going to pretend that's their pocket right now. And so now you're, you've got the selected card on the top of the deck. And what I like to do at this point is a classic force to get them to pick this exact card again. Okay? And so what I do for that is I do an undercut. I grab half the deck and I pull it and put it on top. And I do a pinky break. I put my pinky on the top and I set this on top so there's a pinky break. So I'm going to bring it a little closer. This is what your hand's going to look like. But to the audience and everybody else, your hand, the deck just looks like this in your hand. So it doesn't look all that suspicious. This definitely suspicious. This looks pretty much normal. And so then you're going to, while holding this pinky break, you know that this card you want them to select is under your pinky. So you're going to spread out the cards. Sorry, I'm going to get a better view for you. Spread out the cards, and as you get to where your pinky is, that's the card you want them to choose, right there, the one I've got sticking up. Now you don't want to stick it up and have it here, that's the one I want you to pick. What you do is you have them put their finger out, and you kind of meet, you say I want to put, have your finger laid, I want you to lay your finger down on the card you want to pick. So as you come, you kind of do this in the same motion as they bring it, you bring it up, and then they'll have chosen the card you want them to choose. I was a little off. It's a good thing it was now and not during the trip. <clears throat> anyway, so you want them to pick this card. Another, an easier way you can do that is by having the card on the top and you can have them pick a number between 1 and 15. And you can go 1, 2, let's say they pick 5, 3, 4, and then you'll get to 5 and you kind of stop. Wait, wait, wait. I want you to pull them out, and then they'll pull out one, two, three, four, and then they'll take the fifth card, which is the selected card that's needed. Now, you don't want them to see this yet. So however you do it, make sure that they don't get a look at this card. So you're holding the card now. You've got this card in your hand. They've got this card in their pocket. And so you want to make sure that they understand that the choice that they're making is now or later. Okay? You're not... You've, you've gone ahead and told them that the, that the jack, like in this, in this case, the jack of clubs is salvation. You've already told them that. This is the card, that's the card you want by the end of this. But make sure that they know that the choice they're making is now or later, not salvation. But of course, in their minds, they're thinking, I need to pick the salvation card because that's what he wants me to do. <clears throat> now, so... It doesn't matter what they pick, you can make this work. I Live performance, I had them um, pick now. I had them pick the card in my hand. And then during video, they picked uh, to hold on to the card in their pocket. And you're able to make it work both ways. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So you say you can either pick now, the card that's in my hand, or you can pick later, the card that's in your pocket. If they pick later, the card that's in their pocket, you can follow exactly what Dodo did in the video, um, the, the video that we have already up on, on YouTube, on the other account. And um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what that is now. So you, if they say, I want this card in my pocket, you go, okay, so you're picking later instead of now. Now don't say you're picking salvation or you're picking the jack of clubs instead of this card I have, have here. Make sure you're saying that you're picking later instead of now because the lesson is salvation is now this is the day of salvation so 
once they do that, you, you'll turn this around and you'll pick this over and see now salvation. And then they're going to be like, what's in my pocket? You go, go ahead and pull it out. It's blank. What did you get by waiting for later? Nothing. Okay? And so that's how you go. Make sure you thank them. They told them that they could do a good job because you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings because they didn't pick the right thing. Anyway, so what if they do it differently? What if they say they want the card in your hand now? Okay? So they say, I want now. I want the card in your hand. You go, okay, so you're picking now instead of later. Same thing. And then you'll do the same. You're doing the, really the same thing. You're going to say, you're picking now instead of later. And see, now is the day of salvation. And you have picked salvation today. Now, what do you think would have happened if you waited till later and got the card that's in your pocket? Then they pull out the card that's in their pocket, and they'll see that there's nothing there. So you say, if you had waited for later, you might not have got salvation. You probably would have ended up with nothing. We need to choose salvation now. And so that's how this works. It's, it's, uh, I find it a fairly simple one to do. Just that one, one little move... You've got the card on the top, and you just kind of push it out, bring it together, pick it up. Now don't do this. Pick it up, turn to the outside, and get them to put that in their pocket. And that's how you do it, guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. Have a great one. See you later.